Hello everyone, it's Linda. Today we are going to talk about this beautiful palette right here. It's the Lightwork Volume 3 by Danessa Myricks. I've had this palette for a while, so I have tried it out and I absolutely love it. Let's dive into it. If you're new on my channel, my name is Linda Hallberg and I'm a makeup artist and founder of the vegan cosmetics brand, LH Cosmetics. First of all, we're gonna remove the makeup that I have on right now. And I'm gonna do that with a new makeup remover that I bought at Lidl or Lidl. This is like the cheapest makeup remover that I have ever seen. And I have seen people recommended it in different Facebook groups and I just felt like I needed to try it. It's cruelty free. I have both waterproof mascara and waterproof eyeliner on. And this seems to be really, it's very effective. I'm impressed. I have to rub a little bit, but that's what I usually do. LH Cosmetics launched new crayons just last week. Was it last week? or the week before. The white core crayon that was sold out for so long, it's back and in a new formulation that is so creamy, it's crazy. This is the perfect makeup base if you want colors to pop. So this palette from Janessa Myricks, I would say is more of a topper palette. So I'm going to do a, like a colorful makeup because I have colorful week this week. So I'm gonna do a colorful makeup and then I'm gonna put like one or many of those shades on top. And when I do these colorful makeups, I don't really have a plan at all. Sometimes I have a plan. Usually I get my ideas before I go to bed. Then I have to write them down just to remember, remember them in the morning. I just need to show you some of these pigments here. They are so beautiful, so pigmented, it's insane. They are like, they are so shiny. And I just wanna use all of them all over my face. They actually have two cream eyeshadows here that are called Polaris and Space Suit. And all of the other ones are powder. They're pretty creamy for powdery eyeshadows. And then they have the like more face powders like holographic face powders uh, in the middle that are a little bit bigger I'm gonna and these are you can't even see these are a little bit more powdery so i'm gonna start off with my color palette from lh cosmetics and i think i will go green and black maybe green and black it was a long time ago i did green and black so i'm packing on the green onto the white I'm gonna take another brush, blending brush, and blend a little bit towards my brow bone. I wanna go pretty far under my eyes. I really like the look of having a lot of makeup under, under the eyes. And I know that many people are scared of using makeup underneath their eyes because they're afraid of looking tired. But if you're gonna do a makeup that is really bold, it looks awesome with, if you're doing a lot up here, it's actually nice to just have a lot of makeup underneath as well. Let's add some black. Okay, let's go bananas with the palette. I think I will go in with the color that is called Gaia. Gaia. This one is actually, it looks brown when you see it in the in the camera, but from my angle here, it's green. It's such a pity that multichromes doesn't show that well on camera as it does in real life. Then we're gonna go in with a galaxy that is this purple, blue, green actually as well. And also let's add Martian, this bluish, greenish. Right now my eyes looks like a mess. But that's the, like, when you're working with something with colors, usually it all comes together later on. Let's add some more black. If you think black is hard, because black is one of the most, or actually it is the most unforgiving color to work with when you're doing makeup, 
try working with brown or gray instead because it's a lot easier because when you're doing a black eyeshadow especially a black matte eyeshadow any mistake will show i'm gonna intensify the look by adding some black in the waterline i love yellow as a transition shade so we're gonna add some yellow just under the eyebrow and i'm also gonna add some yellow in the inner corner so i'm also adding yellow underneath my eye as my eyeliner, I am using Life Liner Quick and Easy from Huda Beauty. This one has a very, very tiny brush. Yeah, I'm gonna give you my very, very best mascara tip. If you, like me, have, are having short and straight lashes and still want some volume or length, Start off with curling your lashes with an eyelash curler, then apply a waterproof mascara that will keep the curl, and on top of the waterproof mascara, add another mascara, volumizing or lengthening or whatever you want, because the curl will keep the hold and you will have a really, really nice result. We just launched two amazing mascaras, one with a soft volumizing effect and one with a lengthening effect. And I'm gonna use the soft volume on top of this to add both volume and length. Let's go to the base and I'm using Danessa Myrick's Vision Cream Cover in N03. And as my blush, I'm gonna go in with Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette in the shade Light. And I'm gonna use the cream blush with my sponge. And I like applying cream blush before I apply powder. Let's add some powder and I'm starting off with Infinity Filter in Medium from LH Cosmetics. It has a little bit of yellow pigment inside, which, or that, um, covers up redness. And then I'm gonna go over with Infinity Filter Light with a puff to set the foundation on areas where I know that I'm gonna be super oily. And it's my chin, the sides of my nose, and also my forehead. Before I'm going to lips, I'm just going to put on some false lashes. These are half lashes that I have. I actually don't know which lash it is. I, ha I keep using these all the time. And I don't remember what lash that I cut. But you can cut pretty much whatever lash you want. On my lips, I am using Crayon in Mellow Mauve. This is such a perfect shade on lighter skin tones when you have a really, really bold eye and you want to tone down your lips a little bit. I think that I might want to add something else to this look and it is the Opal Multichrome in Sleepy Head from Carla Cosmetics. You might have seen this everywhere. This shade is the most, it's the craziest shade I've ever seen. It shifts in so many colors. I'm going to show you on my finger if, if I can. It's so many color shifts. I should probably be here with my eyes as well. I'm gonna use their um, Fix Potion on my brush to fixate it. I am pretty much done, so let me get back to you when I have fixed my hair and hopefully found another lighting that makes this makeup justice this is the final look i am so bad at finding the right lighting because it doesn't really show the multi-chromes the way i want let me know in the comments what you want me to do next time and i'll see you next time bye